Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new series. This is a map which I don't really know much about, but I was browsing the maps on ModHub and I came across it and I thought it looked really good. So it is called Crumbback. I hope I have pronounced that correctly, otherwise this is not a great start to the video. But it is indeed the replacement to Zilonka uh, for my video series sort of midweek. So let's get straight into it. I haven't actually set anything up. I haven't changed anything. This is exactly as the creator intended for us to play. I think we're probably going to just change one tractor though. Uh, there's one which I don't really want to use and it's this one here. No offence to it of course, it's a nice enough tractor um, in itself, but I want to go with... Uh, well I want to match Ferguson. Okay, I'll just I'll just admit it. <laughs> we don't want to have uh, a farm without a Matthew Ferguson tractor. So we'll just... Uh, actually, how do you do this? I've only been playing this game for well, since 2009, January 2009, and I had just forgotten how to reset a tractor. Right, there we go. Reset. Back to the store. It's just so I can sell it and get the most money possible. Yeah, as I don't know the map at all, I don't even know where the store is. I probably should have done a tour first of all. Is it there? There it is. Yeah, well, at least it'd be a nice surprise for us. So we'll just go and stick this in the cell point, which I'm guessing is over here. There is a tractor on the roof. Nice for um, promotional advertising and stuff. Looks good. Yeah, so as I suspected, there is indeed a trigger just over here. We actually will repaint it and repair it, even though it costs us money, because we do still make a very small profit. It is a really small profit, though. So, yeah, we've got the starting money and the tractor money. £187,000 in total. So, basically, the tractor which I want to buy is part of... I think it's the 5400 series. Yes. But I don't want to go with the small frame, I want to go with the larger frame. It's really between Generation 1 and 2. I personally prefer Generation 2, um, I think. Like, they're both nice. I, I like both of these tractors. <laughs> so, yeah, I think probably large frame Generation 2. We'll go with... Pretty, how much is It's 83,000, so that's not too bad. Biggest engine horsepower, which is the 5475 at 160. I don't really like these tractors with the narrow tyres. So we're going to put some larger, wider tyres on these if we can do. The brand actually really doesn't matter to me. Yeah, they, they were good. They just look chunky. Uh, really deep tread. Nice new tyres. Love them. And 50th edition. Yes or no? I think I'll go with a no. Standard roof. Oh, that's of course a good roof uh, for the front loader. Is it the Vizio roof plus mirror? Yeah, I prefer standard. Uh, definitely beacons though on both sides. Just looks good. Work lights, halogen, LED, front and rear. Ah, yes, definitely in the front at the top. Because uh, it looks kind of weird. Every time I see a Matty Ferguson without these middle lights, I just think it looks weird. It just looks incomplete. So, yeah, I like that. That's good. Narrow yeah, we'll go with the wide defenders. That looks good too. Mud guards, yeah, we'll have those. Um, GPS equipment is probably not going to be necessary for this. I don't tend to use it. Three-point linkage, yes. We'll be on £101,000. Okay. And do we have... Oh, I should have looked. Do we have a tractor with a front loader? I think we probably do. We can, of course, change this in the future. And I think everything else can stay the same, but I will remove the number plate. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. So very happy with that. £101,400 purchased. Uh, I will just check and see our other tractors. I'm sure the fence, yes, the fence has got a front loader. So that's already set up for us to go. Now, yeah, we'll put the beacons on and we'll have a look at our nice new tractor. Yeah, this is just going to be a general use tractor in the yard and probably carting between the fields and stuff. I don't know where I'm going, but... I can't go too wrong, can I? Oh, don't stop, car. How much clearance is there? There's tons of clearance. Go, car. Go. Well done. You found the confidence. I know it can be scary having a tractor there, but really, you shouldn't have stopped. This is a really nice map. It looks like we probably do have a river up here as well. Adding water to any map looks good. I probably should have turned left up there. Let's go and take a look at the river, though. I was just drawn to it, I could tell by the rocks. Yeah, look at that. Well, it's not a very deep river, but it's deeper there. Nice, it is very nice, very picturesque. 
So yeah, there's obviously loads and loads of places for us to discover. When we get back to the farm, I'm going to show you exactly which fields we're in. We do have quite a few. But again, it's just, as it comes, it's vanilla. Um, I haven't sold or bought any fields. This is exactly as the creator of the map wanted us to play. Which I think is probably the best way, and it's the most authentic way of doing a Let's Play. Because then I haven't tampered it or set it up to make it easier. Yeah, I'm only guessing that this is the right way. I don't know for sure. Um, but it'd be good fun if I go wrong. I'm sure... Well, I've already gone wrong. It's always time for a second wrong turn. If I just make the minimap bigger. Yeah, I have actually gone the right way. The farm is up here on the left-hand side. Very nice. I don't know how many days a week this series is going to be going for. Um, I'm kind of tempted to sort of remove my schedule and just have a very flexible schedule, except for survival roleplay, which will be Saturdays. Sometimes it's a Sunday, but certainly the weekend. I would never do a survival roleplay midweek. So here we are, we're home again. And I'm pretty sure that that field there is ours and ready to harvest, so we'll have a look into that. But yeah, let's just go on to here, so you can see everything that's blue is ours. So it's actually, um, oh yeah, we own a second farm, wow. We own all of this down here. We'll have to spread to that later. We need to get sort of set up here first. So we have field number nine, which is a canola field. Is it ready to harvest? No, but it is in the next episode. We have field number four which is, well it looks like a grass field, um, and we've got for number one, which is ready to harvest, wheat. Then we've got this, which is for sheep, so I guess you probably could cut it if you wanted to, but yeah, it's there for the sheep to graze. Uh, 77, it's a pig farm. Uh, looks like there is also some land though. And yeah, kind of random, but 45, I'm pleased that we have it. 45 is down here, and that is ready in the next episode. So we actually have quite a lot to do. Is that everything? Don't want to sound ungrateful. I think we do start off with quite a lot of stuff here. Um, but yeah, don't want to miss anything. So that field there, we need to start with. Uh, we do, I believe, have a combine. Throughout the course of this series, I'm going to be changing the starting off machinery. We're not going to keep all of these machines because they're sort of overused now. They're from the base game. And yeah, I think we've all used them quite a bit. Unless you're new to the game. But I've certainly used them quite a bit. Yeah, it wouldn't be one of my Let's Plays if we didn't start off with a wheat harvest. It looks like every single series I start off with a wheat harvest. Oh, do we have a baler? If we do, then it would be good to work out if we should bale. Um, yeah, let's just have a look here. We do have a baler. But at the same time, I also have enabled the mod which is called... Uh, chop straw for harvesters and if we chop it instead of baling it we put an application of fertilizer onto the field which actually I prefer uh, at this early stage we don't have to but then at least we could turn the field around really quickly so I think probably it also it breaks from tradition as well because I, I tend to just harvest and bale immediately on every series so yeah where's my comma yeah we do have a comma there we go I thought I'd tab to it already. I would just do a few quick adjustments in the options. There we go. So now the engine won't keep switching off every time I jump out of the cab. Because that is a little bit painful. I think what we will do is we will pull that trailer forward. That header should fit through that gap. Yeah, it's good to start off with a bigger tractor with a front loader. That's so good. And a telehandler, as it turns out. I didn't know we had the telehandler. So, yeah. We didn't start off with a mountain of money. I would never say that £100,000 uh, is not much money, though. That is a serious amount of money. But compared to some Let's Plays where you start off with like a million, uh, yeah, we didn't have that much in the bank. But we certainly have plenty in the assets. So it's going to be quite good. Certainly nothing like my Vintage Survival series, which is so slow-paced that it's at risk of leaving a snail trail. You know, snails are pretty slow. 
<laughs> I've had to explain my own jokes. Never good. Right. Okay. So let's just engage that and off we go. Are we chopping? No. Let's chop. Right, so that should be uh, turning that into fertiliser. Which is, of course, one of the reasons why uh, the crop is chopped in real life. I believe for potash. Don't quote me on that. Okay, that's looking good. So I think um, once we have made enough space, we can get a worker to go up and down, and we can cart, because we're going to have to cart to the south point. Uh, unless, of course, we want to put it into storage. We do have a silo, I noticed, so it might be worth putting it into storage. Yes, that would be uh, quite a good idea. But yeah, I'll just go around the headland a few times. It's not filling up particularly quickly, so I don't think this fill is that well fertilised. Did the... Oh wow, it's not fertilised at all. <laughs> We're actually putting the application of fertiliser on now by chopping it. Nice. Okay, let's do this. We've got a nice little strip of potatoes growing here as well. For our own consumption by the look of it. Oh, that's quite a lot, even, uh, even though it looks like a small area for one person. Okay, so we'll unload, we'll set it off on a worker. I uh, don't know how big this trailer actually is, it's probably like 12,000 litres. So we should be able to get, well, hopefully get two loads in, approximately. Not a very big combine, so should be able to. But anyway, yeah, that is all looking very promising. I want to turn this field around today if I can do. I don't know if we have a drill. I haven't even looked into that. Uh, I've literally just downloaded the map and gone for it. Something which I don't tend to do. Okay, we do have a drill. It's a small one. Um, I would prefer to go with like a direct drill. we will have to look into it. We do have the money, but then we need to make sure we leave some money for a rainy day. And there we go. 91%, okay, so a full combine load almost fills the trailer, and if we were doing it on the move, that would have filled it. But we don't have far to go. There's the bucket for the telehandler, and it looks like maybe a bucket. Oh, it's a manure grab, manure fork for the uh, tractor. Oh, does the silo start off with anything in it? No, it doesn't. Okay. I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> Just sometimes you might get a little bonus in there. Right, that's looking good. So yeah, we'll prepare a tractor for drilling. We've also got a pallet fork and a bucket on the rack there for the tractor as well. It's very nice. Yeah, there's plenty of things to discover. But we'll leave this tractor on the trailer. This is the perfect tractor for this trailer. Just looks good. Yeah, I love it. It's great. Well, the Fent tractor is the one which we're going to have to use. Um, yeah, so they must be in these sheds. That's the telehandler. We can discover this together. Unless, of course, you've already played on this map, which you might have done. Okay, we've got a um, fertilizer spreader. We've got a tether in here. Oh, a logging trailer, a mower, a baler. <laughs> this is the same shed. Why am I doing this? Uh, 
Oh look, it's that logging trailer again. So where is the sea drill? Oh, it was here all along. It was just lurking behind the corner. So, yeah, it's not a direct drill like I said. It is actually a power harrow drill, which you would usually use in a previously cultivated field. Um, so, unless, of course, we can set this to work with the uh, use cultivator as a plow mod. Can we? Or maybe the game just allows you to use it as a direct drill. No, it doesn't. Okay, right. So yeah, we're going to have to cultivate, or we're going to have to sell this drill. One of the two. Uh, yeah, that would be quite good. It's not wider, I don't think, but it does allow us to drill without cultivating first, which obviously saves a lot of time. It's also a new drill from the Premium Edition, which I've never used before. Never used this drill before. Um, so it'd be nice to uh, use it for a change. So I think we'll go with that. We'll go and sell the other one. Let's just see what the situation is with these pallets and stuff, these bags, okay, they're fine. Uh, yeah, I don't think we have any, so yeah, let's just get over to the store. We'll deal with it. I probably should empty the combine first before we go. How full is it? 47%, yeah. It's not desperate, but it will certainly be waiting for us when we get back if I don't empty it now. But yeah, we'll have this field growing again by the end of this episode. It's my kind of map. I like it. Very hilly. And so much to discover. I could just leave this here actually, we don't have uh, any particular place to put it. So let's get over to the store, it's actually not far away either. So we should just be able to drop it off, sell it, pick up the next one, put some seed in it, maybe fertiliser, I didn't actually check that. And then we'll be back here to drill. Speedy tractor! hasn't been used this so we should be able to recover most of its value I hope <laughs> I really hope uh, right yeah 29 that sounds good sounds very good yeah what is this 724 that's quite a big tractor but I'm pleased because we wouldn't want to be struggling it, it just gets really painful if we're ever struggling in a video. Oh. Nope, that's the same. That one. And no, we don't have the ability to do fertilizer as well. Which is a shame, because after doing the chop straw we would have actually got 100 percent fertilizer, but not to worry. We've got to work our way up the ladder. We'll have to change this in the future for another one. It's not big enough anyway, uh, width-wise. Um, but it's fine for today. So, we'll put three bags in, that will almost get us to 100%. Although, actually, depending on where they've uh, calculated this, yeah, that is 100%. So, there is indeed 33.3% in every one. Oh dear. This is our speed tractor for the series. How are we doing for frame rate? Not bad. There's a lot of trees, so it's always going to be a little tough, but yeah, that's fine. We will be getting animals, and some people might be thinking you should have kept some of that straw. Well, the reason as I've already explained, was to get the fertiliser in for this first field, but we have another field of wheat, so that is the field which we will uh, bale. Right, yeah, this is just 
a frantic first video to really get everything moving. Every video is frantic. I would like to change the combine though, because I haven't got anything against this combine, but we do use it all the time. But it was the starting, it was the default combine, so I wasn't going to change it. Okay, well I should keep that moving. Just a slither left for it to do. Yeah, that's all good. So we've got 8,000 litres here. The first one wasn't 8,000, but it almost was. So we're probably like 15 something in total. 15,700 maybe, I don't know. Soon find out. Where's my tip? Where's my tip? No idea. Anyway, there we go. We'll tip the other way. That's better. Come on. Good. Yeah, it's a shame these tractors aren't made anymore. I do like them. It's the same with everything, though. Everything moves on. And nothing lasts forever. Well, I think we can probably uh, leave that to finish off. 15286. Let's jump back into here. Now, we don't really want to put wheat in. Wheat after wheat. Yep, it's something you do. First wheat, second wheat. Um, we could do it. But I think it'd be a bit boring. So I think instead we'll put in... Um, We'll put in barley just just to just to mix things up a bit. Yes, unfolding first. Oh, still got seasonal growth on. Crikey! Well, should we keep it on? Would it be worth keeping it on? If we are, we can't really drill much yet. Um, guess I haven't used it for a while. We can put canola in. We'd have to wait until the next month to do barley. It's not a major problem. We could just rest. We will do. We will rest after we've done this. Because all the other fields aren't ready to harvest either. So we've got nothing to really wait for. Just finish off. There's a few missed bits over here. Don't think they'll really accumulate much. Uh, 3,393 in the tank. Three thousand four hundred. So, okay, we had seven, seven liters. And that can go into storage as well. Finished. Okay, so that can be parked in the shed. it there. This yard kind of weirdly reminds me of FS09 or 11. I love it. I love those versions of the game. I do also have the extended uh, display on so we can see which year we're in uh, and uh, I think it's giving us more temperature data as well. To change the tip side again. There we go. Tip out the back. So from that field, we managed to get in total. It would save <laughs> eighteen thousand six hundred eighty-six liters, which I think, considering it wasn't fertilised, it seems quite good. Let's just turn that off. We'll go over to this lovely house to rest. We'll start at 8. 
Oh yeah, please don't be raining. That would be so bad. But at least we'll be able to do the drilling of barley. No problems at all there. And we'll keep seasonal growth on. And you can see the leaves are just starting to change. Autumn is on the way. Yeah, so not a very wide drill. It's going to be a bit slow. But then that's what time lapses are for. So, yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. <laughs> yeah, if this was real life, it wouldn't seem small at all. I think it's just because in this game you get the urge to go with the biggest, and when you've seen the biggest, you don't really want to go to the smallest. And for the modern machinery, this is, I think, one of the smallest. But still, fun to use this new machine. I've never used it before. Yeah, once you actually get on with things, it doesn't take that long. And if we were doing a bigger field, I'd just put a worker on the job. I'd do the difficult parts, and the worker can do the easy parts whilst we do something different. So when we when we finish this, we need to look into fertilizer. Um, I think we do have a spreader, don't we? And also, um, yeah, we're going that barn again with the telehandler and see exactly which bales we have. Because I'm pretty sure we do start off with some grass bales or hay bales or something like that. As for the potato field just there, I'm not too sure exactly what we're going to do with it. I think we do own it. Yep, we do. It's ready to harvest, but we don't really want to uh, buy a really expensive machine for that. We can get just an old vintage one, which I think we'll probably do. It'd be a shame to leave it. Be fun. Use some small vintage machinery and some new modern stuff, bigger stuff. Right, there we go. The barley is in. So for now, we will just park this. Oh, crikey, that was dramatic. We'll park this um, over here, where the other one used to live. It's quite long. Actually, that's not really the best bay for it with <laughs> whatever that is at the back, uh, but it would do. Right. Yeah, so what do we have in this shed here? It looks like we've got some hay bales. Yep. So that's nice. It's good that we actually do start off with some hay. And as for fertilizer spreads, of course, we know that one is there in the workshop. We're going to need quite a small tractor actually to get that out. It's fairly tight. I think we're going to have to use this tractor over here. It's 
probably when having the smaller frame tractor would be beneficial. Nothing stopping me from getting a smaller frame tractor as well. <clears throat> right. Nothing happened. That's better. Yes, the cabaret never ends. But let's face it, you're here to watch that sort of thing happen, aren't you? Aren't you? Yes, you are. <laughs> what, you're not? Okay. Heading to the store to get some fertilizer, and I think probably one bag is going to do it. It probably won't fill it, but it should be enough for that field. If it doesn't fill it up that much, we can buy another one. I just don't want to overbuy at this stage. It would be uh, unwise. We need all the money we can get. Well, I think that will cover it. It should be fine. Also, if we totally fill it, we might need a front weight. Which, uh, do we have? <laughs> Again, I haven't really looked into that sort of thing yet. Um, and I don't think we do. Handy for fuel. We've got so many places to discover. Right, are we set to full width? We are indeed. Good. Hopefully I can do this before it germinates. Um, yeah, I can. Good. Yes, it's got a really wide working width, so we need to be careful here. If I go up here... It should be about right, hopefully. I will follow that line. You can sort of see a line in the texture, where the texture repeats itself. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. It's not great for immersion. Um, yeah, and then we'll come back down again. It's so good, though, the working with. So good. Just up and down. Simple. I could actually turn here as well. Oh no, I'm giving the neighbours some fertiliser. Give it back! <laughs> oh well, we'll probably buy that field one day. Right. We've got that covered. We can actually reduce working width. Lovely. And we did have enough. So I think really that's not bad for one episode, for the first episode. Just a nice way of slowly getting into this. And we have totally turned around the field and made it fully productive. 100% fertilised. Um, so that is just going to be so good for the next harvest. But we are going to leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.